As far as my comment to others on Ariel Marine, you, you know, I would say, uh, you know, each each uh, situation is different, but you absolutely should uh, give them a shot to analyze your situation. I believe that if I was in the wrong, that uh, that your company would not be one that would just take a deposit and then tell me it can't be done. I had a feeling that uh, when you accepted the, the deposit and we signed the contract, that not only me, but you were confident that uh, it was uh, a process that could be completed successfully. First name is uh, Mike. Second name is Hart. Found out about uh, Arrow and Marine actually by attending some uh, boat shows, some local boat shows, and came across uh, your booth uh, during one of those shows. I think it was in Long Beach. <laughs> After the boat show, I was turned over to, Ju to Julie. The sign-up process uh, went pretty well. I had uh, a couple of questions which uh, which were answered, and um, I was just in the process then of acquiring uh, a new vessel. The first few times I think I came across you guys at the show uh, was uh, an in-between boat uh, mode, so I didn't do anything the first year, but uh, the next time I met you, I, I went ahead. Yes, Emily was my consultant, and I have to say she just did a, a, a tremendous job. Uh, you know, I wasn't completely familiar with the process. I knew that uh, I was purchasing a vessel out of state uh, that was owned by a California uh, resident, but the vessel was in Washington, and that if I purchased it, it needed to stay out of state uh, for an additional year at which time I could bring it back to uh, back to California. So I had to prove, and Emily really helped me do this, I had to prove that the vessel uh, was in Washington for at least one year uh, before we brought it to, uh, to California. And she asked me for everything. She wanted, uh, you know, receipts for the slip and were there any gas receipts, any service performed, uh, in other words, anything that uh, that could support the case that the vessel was in Washington and never left Washington. I'd say one of the things that really stands out, and I wanted to compliment her on, is that when we got pretty much to the end of it, she asked me, do I think it would be possible to get the, the uh, management of the marina to sign something that stated that the boat was there the whole time and it wasn't it wasn't being used for, for pleasure. And uh, I was a little hesitant on that because, uh, you know, there were different employees and things like that. But she said, do you mind if I send them a, a, a letter or request? And sure enough, she sent that letter and she got that acknowledgement. And uh, I don't know if that was, uh, you know, one of the final things, but uh, she was confident then that we had absolutely proved uh, that the boat was out of uh, California for that year. When I got the letter from California, actually, I think uh, Emily had uh, forewarned me and told me something that was going to be coming. Maybe she even attached a, a copy of it, but uh, it was a pleasant surprise. I had dealt uh, in a, with a previous boat years ago in uh, in California, and their their tax people. I had a boat in. Uh, Channel Islands, California, that uh, when my uh, when my second daughter was scheduled to be born, I decided to sell the boat and uh, and get out of boating for a while. And uh, I moved the boat from uh, Channel Islands to Long Beach. The broker told me there's better exposure down in the Long Beach area. So I ended up getting two property tax bills, one in uh, one from Ventura and one from Long Beach, you know, different different counties. You know, so I challenged that. And, you know, I said, it's the same boat. All I did was move it. So they said, well, you have to go back to Ventura, you know, and prove to them, you know, that it was the same boat. Uh, you know, otherwise you may be subject to paying both. Maybe you have two boats. Maybe you'd be subject to paying uh, both of the uh, the property tax fees. So I had to go back to Ventura, um, you know, get that settled. And uh, and then move on from there. But at that point, I knew that uh, you know these these tax people really do look into things, and they do monitor things very well. 
I guess what surprised uh, what surprised me the most about your service was the consistency. When I shopped at these boat shows, you know, you talk to different brokers, different different uh, different people trying to sell your boat, and everyone seemed to have a slightly different story. You know, oh, you got to take delivery offshore, and you have to hold up a newspaper, or you or you have to uh, go to Ensenada, you know, for uh, for a month or whatever. But the uh, the it just seemed a lot clearer to me when I got the explanations from. Uh, Arrow and Marine, that uh, it was consistent, and it just made me feel more comfortable uh, to sign up for your service. I was somewhat surprised how easy the access was, including uh, including Emily. You know, I would send an email to her, or you know, sending documents back and forth, and I'd get a response most of the time the same day. And it was uh, it was good to know that. Uh, and I know that your company deals in, you know, much more expensive items like planes and things like that. But it it made me feel good that uh, something in my price range, uh, you know, that I could get a response quickly. Well, I, you know, I would, uh, as far as my comments on Aereo Tax Marine, I mean, I would tell other people that, uh, you know, I had a I had a great experience with them. Um, you know, I had a lot of choices, a lot of stories from different brokers, you know, how, how easy it is to do. And it turns out if you really want to be successful, it isn't quite that easy. You, you really do need uh, proper documentation um, because it's, uh, you know, it's potentially a lot of tax. This was tax on, you know, $225,000. It's not inconsequential. And uh you know, if if you're wrong in any area, they're certainly going to uh, going to follow up and want more documentation. I don't know, you know, if uh, if Emily be behind the scenes, you know, did any more, but I'm not aware of once she submitted the uh, the whole package that uh, that it that it didn't go through and uh, they didn't put in any additional requests.